moving is a very scary and intimidating thing to do. Moving is probably one of the most stressful things you can do because you're basically uprooting your life. I remember years ago, I was offered a position in California. I lived in New Jersey. And I was so grateful for the offer, and I really considered it because one of my main factors in life was I wanted to live in an all-year-round warm climate. In California, uh, depending on what part of the state, uh, definitely the southern part, uh, offers that, for the most part, all-year-round warm living. And while I was very thankful for that gracious offer, I didn't end up taking it. And I remember a manager saying to me, well, just remember, you know, it's a serious decision because you're uprooting your life. And that word stuck out with me, uprooting. And my dream was always to go to Florida, though. It was uh, California was always on my mind because it was a warm state. But Florida was my goal. And eventually, uh, through the grace of God and hard work, I've, I've made it to Florida. And even though it's Florida, not California, I still basically did the same thing. I uprooted my life. You know, wherever you live, wherever you spend the most time, whether you own a house or rent, you have roots in that area. You have connections. And when you decide to move, again, whether you rent or buy, doesn't matter. When you decide to move, you uproot your life. You change from your connections to one area to another. And it's scary, disruptive, and it takes months to adapt. You know, there is that saying that the human cannot create a new habit until at least 28 days, about one month. You know, so it takes one month to do something consistently before it's part of your natural flow. And certainly when you're talking about creating a whole new lifestyle, uh, when you move, you create a new lifestyle because your climate, your environment create lifestyle. You know, there, there's so many things that are changing in your life, so many habits, so many disruptions, you know, so many, you know, just going to the grocery store is a whole different way of life because, you know, most people, their entire life or a big part of their life, they get used to one or two grocery stores within a 10 or 15 mile radius of wherever they live. And that is part of their roots, their, their life, their lifestyle, their habits. And just going on a daily basis to a different store is very disruptive for people. A lot of stress, you know, you get used to, all right, the cereals here, the, you know, the canned goods are here. And you know, so this disruption, it's going to take a while to settle in. It's going to take a while to settle in. You know, I've been debating or not whether to, to buy a home base these past uh, few months. And I've been back and forth to Florida within the past uh, three, four years. And I, I my general piece of advice is don't buy a property until you've been in that area uh, or explored the area for at least two years. So you can get a feel for the stores, the hospitals, the schools, the uh, beaches, whatever it has to offer in that area. But I want to encourage you, though, even though it's a scary, uprooting thing to move, it's a necessary, necessary thing at times in your life, especially if you know you are not happy where you're at, you're not fulfilled, and it's not the lifestyle that you want. Remember in the summer, winter comes again. Remember in the summer that winter comes again. I would repeat that because what happened a lot of times on my journey to get to Florida. In New Jersey, the, the summer would come and, and everyone would get happy again. Everyone would get excited about going to the Jersey Shore, about the warm weather. And they would get complacent in the fact that, oh, it's not that bad here. And then... You know, fall is, is pretty good. Fall's nice. But then November, December, and then that winter comes again. And I said to myself, there's got to be a better way. And for me, there was Florida. Endless summer. 
warm temperature all year round. And again, that's why I even considered California because of the warm temperature all year round. But I remember someone I worked with said, Sam, just remember you're making a big decision to uproot your life. That's a strong word. And it's a good word because it'll sober you to the fact that this is a big change, but necessary, necessary change. But you have to do it responsibly. What's responsibility? Do things in order. Secure your job transfer. Uh, keep your commitments light when you first come to an area. Like I say, try not to buy. I don't like renting either in one sense, but renting, the, the value is flexibility, less commitment. And, you know, then you decide if you want to buy. And buying's scary. Buying's a long-term commitment. But you get to the point where you say at a certain point in life, whether you buy or rent, it doesn't matter for this video. You get to a point where there's a certain area. Out of all the areas you explored, you like to spend most of your time. And whether you buy or rent, you're going to start to put down roots there. You're going to start to form habits there. That's your lifestyle. So even though you uproot your life, you will reroute your life. You will reinvent yourself, you'll adapt, you'll grow. This is what it means to move. And it's worth it. There's pain, but it's worth it. It's scary, but it's worth it. It's a risk, but it's worth it. Anything can go wrong. You have to give yourself permission as long as you've done things responsibly and in order. You have to give yourself permission to fail. You have to say, you know what, if I've done things in order, if I've tried to use wisdom and patience, even if I fail, I did everything I could. You know, you're, you're, you know, it's like you're failing by not growing. You're failing by not changing. So if you're going to fail, you might as well fail doing things that are better for you, healthier for you, and more inspiring to you responsibly than to stay in misery. What I want to tell you is many times in life, good people, hardworking people many times, they stay in a situation simply because it's the comfortable, familiar situation. And it is the scary pain of change that keeps people rooted to misery. And I have empathy, not judgment, because I know how hard life is. But I want to encourage you with every bit of strength you have and look back at the other accomplishments you have in your life. And I want to share with you that even if you have a driver's license, that's an accomplishment. Look back at every accomplishment you have in your life and say, you know what? I may not be the strongest, but I could do something. Muster up all the strength you have, ask for the grace of God and go forward. Reroute your life. That's the message in this video. Moving is worth it if you've done things in order, if you've explored and you find the areas that inspire you the most, weather, climate, economics, low crime rates, etc. And for me, that's Florida in certain areas. You could still visit other areas. And look, you could still travel endlessly and just keep your commitments light, whether you rent or nomad. But I just want to talk about moving in general and getting outside your normal 30-mile radius. It's scary. I was a homebody for many years. I was an explorer for many years. I uprooted my life and basically rerouting my life. Leaving family behind is the hardest. Staying with family and you're not happy and they're not happy is the worst. There's no exact or perfect science to life. I wish there was an answer to keep everyone happy to do everything right and to never feel pain. I wish, but there's not. You have to figure out what is best and healthiest and be willing to deal with some discomfort. I hope you appreciate this video. I hope it helped you. If it did and you want to support the channel, click the blue join button. Click the thumbs up button. Check out my playlist, which has a whole section of videos about moving to Florida and a variety of life topics. Keep showing up. Self-care. Time management. Thank you for watching. One day at a time. Peace.